Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again. And to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born high-functioning autistic, I'm obsessed with fiction, and I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stan Lee did for his. For this particular footage, I'm going to introduce three new characters. Well, four if you think about it, but mainly three. This one right here are a duo known as the Tackle Twins. So if you guys bear with me as I read this, I hope it would work out for you guys. Tackle Twins. Real name, Trishy and Teresa Johns. Height, 775 feet. Weight, 112,000 tons. Status Hero and Football Champions. Base, Two Earths, Mobile. Intelligence, three brains. Willful, typo. Behavior, willful, protective, and sneaky. They enjoy playing football and saving lives. Lethality, only when threatened or during a fight. Weaknesses, rejection and low awareness. Powers, they both possess a huge size, immense strength, and uncanny football skills. They also each wield a specialized football cannon which can manifest a series of footballs to be launched at their target at high speeds. Eyes deep brown for both, hair deep brown and flowing for both. Origin Trishy and Teresa Johns were a pair of identical twins who wished to become football champions. After being rejected by the league, they were later visited by D. Jin whom the two girls wish to be almost unreachable in the sport. After the magical spirit vanished, Trishy and Teresa gradually became 775 feet tall, along with realizing their exaggerated skills in football. Eventually, the two girls helped the sport-wielding Gigatine defeat her evil counterpart, Megatine, earning the name of the Tackle Twins. Trishy and Teresa would do all that they can to save those in their time of need. Costume. They wear a set of matching football clothes. Teams. Solitary, with Gigatine and other heroes. Origin Inspiration, football. This next character I'm going to introduce is a villain known as Ultraborg. And hopefully you guys could be able to tag along. Ultraborg. Real name, inapplicable. Height and weight, varied. Status, villain, and genocidal tyrant. Base, Ultraborg Dimension, mobile. Intelligence. Five brains and a plus. Behavior. Destructive, stubborn, and relentless. She hates all organic life. Lethality. As above. It's best to avoid her at all costs. Weaknesses. Malfunctions and being torn apart. Powers. She possesses mass alteration, a strong healing factor, a built-in replication system, and can fly at intense speeds. She also wields an arsenal of built-in weapons, along with being overly brutal in the art of war. Eyes glowing red, hair none. Origin. One time. The master and the Blue Man Clan decided to create a new manufactured entity that was supposedly meant to protect all innocents. However, when the entity was finally complete, she revealed to everyone that her name was Ultraborg and carelessly sent the BMC St Sky Carrier crashing onto New York City. After all the current heroes and villains teamed up to destroy the metallic tyrant, Ultraborg was barely defeated, but afterwards developed a stronger urge to decimate all forms of organic life. Departing the default dimension, Ultraborg insisted Cosmic to create a dimension where she reigned supreme, known since as the Ultraborg Dimension. Costume, none. Teams, Solitary with Abigail Kingston and other villains. Original Inspiration, Marvel's Ultron. This last character is, in a sense, the most Lovecraftian, if you think about it. 
vacuum made. Real name inapplicable. Height 50 feet vast. Weight 8 tons to vast. Status antihero and intergalactic cleanser. Base deep space mobile. Intelligence four brains. Behavior intellectual and willful. She always enjoys cleansing the cosmos. Lethality only for those in her path. Weaknesses She's easily carried away. Powers. She has a huge size, immense strength, a high IQ number, and is a good guesser. She also wields a futuristic vacuum pack, which is a special vacuum that could dissolve most forms of matter to a subatomic level. Eyes bluish green, hair vivid blonde, and waist length. Origin. Vacuum Maid is an otherworldly housemaid with both an unknown backstory and an obsession with cleansing nearly everything. She travels across the universe looking for places to cleanse with her devastating vacuum pack. However, Vacuum Maid uses a questionable tactic. One time, Vacuum Maid attempted to dissolve the two Earths, which made severe complications for the natives. Eventually, all the heroes and villains of the two Earths finally defeated the Cosmic Vacuum Maid. Later, the Lunarian Pym asked Vacuum Maid why she does what she does, and she replied that she was getting paid. However, not even the Alpha Gods had a clue what she meant, leaving many to consider her as a Lovecraftian force. Just recently, Vacuum Maid was invited by the heroic Mega Maid to become a new member of the Legion of Maids, despite the past. Costume. She simply wears a set of housemaid clothes. Teams, solitary, or with others. Original inspiration, housemaids, and Lovecraftian terrors. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Those three, uh, well, four characters, if you think about it. And, uh, just as an announcement to my, uh, affiliates and such, I'm planning to make a specialized booth so that way if I could have some point in the future to have my stuff introduced at the Salt Lake Comic Con at any point in the future, I hope it would spread my uh, social recognition and I hope it would get me more followers and fans and such. It might take a bit of processing, but that's what I believe would be the next step for my creations, other than this podcast and my blog and such. So if you guys want, you could like, subscribe, and comment down below. It's your choice. And uh hope you guys have a fine time for this um, sequencing of sorts and such. Um, hope you guys have a fine time. And until next time, in transmission.